What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Tommy McGrath. We are actually out in Wisconsin Lake today. Today's a Wednesday. I want to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Follow the Action. They're an outdoor apparel company that literally covers you from fishing to hunting. They got the most badass hand-drawn custom designs for the everyday outdoorsman. So we're going to kind of do a little multi-species today. We're actually going to start by looking for some bass a little bit, but we're actually going to head to this one spot for musky. We're going to be targeting musky today. The season open in southern Wisconsin, May 1st. I'm with Trevor. Up. He's just controlling the boat right now. We're just drifting. We're trying to get out of this uh, little bay right now, but we want to do a little bit of graphing. So we're going to shoot to the spot. I'm going to shut my mouth. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to leave a like. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button right down here. Let's get today underway. <music> guys we're gonna be starting out with this glide bait this is a phantom lures glide bait rod today the st croix legend tournament 86 medium heavy fast action and the reel is a dial alexa 300 here we go i need to make a cast and straighten out this braid Guys, last time we musky fish was, well, last, last time I did was October where I caught two and the one vertically jigging on this exact bait. Yeah. I'm really glad we did this though from the boat because walking would have sucked. What time? Uh, oh! Crap! Crap! Muffy! No, what? 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 Oh my god, dude. Dude, I haven't seen like that. I haven't seen something like that in a really long time. It's a nice one. Oh, you guys, it's in, it's in the hook, Tommy. What? Get in the net. Get, no way. Your rod, save your rod. Open your bail. Open your bail. Get this. Get this hook out, Tommy. It's gonna break your rod. Okay, okay, okay. I just said. Bro, no way. That might be a, that might be a PB, dude. Dude, you should weigh him. Don't let him get out. Hold him in. No way, no way. Dude, sight fishing a f bowfin. That's gotta be six, seven pounds. Isn't it like the state record like eight or something? I think it's a little bit bigger in Wisconsin. Go ahead and clip them. All right, guys, we're gonna get a weight. This is a Electro Samson. One of the best scales you can use. They use this on major league fishing. Guys, we got a boat coming, but real quick. Awesome bowfin, Trevor's doing the camera. We're gonna get a quick weight on this thing. But, okay, that boat left. So, okay, we're just gonna we're do our thing here, so. Beautiful bowfin though. Guys, what's really cool about this, we're actually back here bass fishing. And I saw this bowfin and Trevor's like, dude, I think it's a bowfin. I cast right at it, ate a net, dude. We're gonna get a quick weight now. What's it say, bud? It says 7.65. 7.65? So this is officially my personal best bowfin. This is officially 7.65 pounds, my personal best bow fin. I'm gonna drop him in the net, get him in a drink of water, take him a couple picks. But what an insane little, yeah. what an insane excursion. All right guys, it is 7.51 we gave it our all. We were out there for what, four hours? Yeah. Four hours, unfortunately just the one, just the one bow fin, but I mean, it wasn't a total waste. I mean, we saw a bunch of fish. It's just sometimes when the lake is that clear, it's just really hard to catch those fish. It's still early in the spring. I believe the surface temp was about 51, about the whole lake, 51 to 53. Mm -hmm. So me and Trevor are actually gonna continue this video into tomorrow because I don't want that bowfin to go to waste on video. I th that was my PB and my first ever bowfin caught on the nitro. Every, every other bowfin has been from shore or actually they've all been from shore, yeah. 
So first ever bowfin on the boat, the PB bowfin. We're gonna continue this into tomorrow. We're not sure if we're gonna launch a boat or we're gonna do some shore fishing for some largemouth bass in the pond. So we will let you know in the morning, next time I turn on this camera. All right guys, it is the following day. It was pretty cold today and we we're gonna go out and do some bass fishing. Trevor actually did and I told him to let me know how the bite was, but it wasn't too hot. So Trevor's actually behind the camera right now. We are gonna finish this video because we caught a bowfin yesterday. We're actually gonna go back for bowfin and we're gonna do some night fishing on how I did last year with Justin. So I want I have not done that this year yet and I wanna do it. I leave for Florida in a couple days. I had to edit all day, kind of get some stuff done. And I was finally able to get out. So it's actually 7.30 right now. By the time we actually get to the lake, it is gonna be probably 8.30, which is perfect timing. You wanna start fishing those at dusk or when like the sun's completely down. And we're gonna be sight fishing with a flashlight. But right now we're gonna get some bluegills. So I'm gonna strap on the chest real quick for the bluegill part of it. And then we'll be heading to Wisco. Here we go, guys. Trevor, you ready? I'm ready. Let's get her done. Not really gonna be able to do it. How many do you think we should get? Seven? I'm gonna just try the bear hook. No way. Oh, come on, get off. We can't use this. This is good bass bait for these bluegills. Or those bass, I mean. No way, bear hook's working. Oh my God, dude, that one's sick. <gasps> no. The pumpkin seed. Oh. Trevor, we got four. All right, guys, we got eight bluegills. We're gonna go for one more and then get out of here. On the leaf. On the leaf. All right, guys, we're at the BK right now. It is 8.40. Uh, we got 10 bluegills. And now we're gonna be shooting to the actual lake. We're gonna be fishing a harbor tonight. My confidence is pretty high. I think we're gonna do pretty good. Uh, usually in the colder nights, it's 44 degrees right now, but usually in the colder nights in like this early spring, it's usually pretty good for the bowfin. So I'm hoping we can really top this thing off with some bowfin tonight. And this is gonna be the last time me and Trevor are fishing together for probably what, fall? Yeah. Or ice? sad but we'll make the most of it for him back in alabama so hopefully we can get it done uh we're gonna have the this camera out there i'm not even gonna put the gopro on and we got this light actually check this out jesus mary and joseph but there we go uh i can't see but i will touch back in with you guys when we get there can you do a kickflip can you do a kickflip yeah, mm -hmm. nice oh that was close <laughs> Keep it up though, you're, you're shredding you. it. Have a good one. You too. Alrighty, we have made it to the harbor. Uh, we're kind of already starting to look. We got the flashlights, we got headlamps on. Guys, I'm feeling super confident. The water's super clear, not windy. That's exactly what we need. But I'm gonna set down this tripod and then I will come back to you immediately when we spot one. You guys can see the how we honestly do everything. All right guys. I literally just cut a head off a of bluegill. We already spotted one, so this is a good sign. We've been here for literally four minutes, yeah. five minutes. Same thing as my previous videos though, guys. I love sticking the hook just like that. So it's kind of barely in the skin like that, but then the skin part actually holds it on. So, all right, we're gonna let Trevor drop in this one first. Pull it straight towards you. Let it drop. Oh, sorry. Oh, bigger hooks that, but dude, that was insane. All right, guys, well, you saw that. I think Trevor, he'll give you a quick word, but I think that just kind of caught him off guard that he shot into the boat so quick. But like with bowfin, you got to put like the actual just hammer hook set to it. And I just, again, with bowfin, you're going to lose a lot more than you're going to catch. You're going to go negative for the ratio, but that's a good, really good sign that we already found one. So, all right, here we go. All right, guys, uh, we have another one spotted. I'm going to drop down on this one. Trevor sent the dock across. I'm going to turn my headlamp on like small, so I can see where my bait's dropping. <gasps> it's eating. Trevor, get ready. It's right on top of it. <gasps> oh. Oh. 
we're on, we're on, we're on. Trevor, follow me. I am. Let's go. We got him. Looks like a male. A male. That was sick. Oh wait. Guys, that was, guys, that was so filthy. The hook already popped. Look at the green on him in the spot in the tail. All right, guys, this is a male. You can tell by that little spot in the tail. It looks honestly gorgeous. But the first fish landed of the night. Uh, we are one for two. Lost one, caught one. And you can also tell it's a male by the super green coloring on it. That means they're spawning. There it is. I'm not gonna get a weight on this one. This one's probably about, I don't know, three pounds, three to four maybe. So my guess would be three and a half. So nice male bowfin, my first in the night. There we go, we're gonna get a nice release. And just like that, he's, he's off. off right away. No, it's a giant bowfin, giant. I got you in frame. Get ready, dude. This thing's huge. Trevor, get ready. Oh my god, I just tried eating it. it. It smoked it. It missed it, though. Where is it? Oh, Trevor, get in there. Oh, yes. Yeah, baby! We got Let's it. go! Oh my god, okay. get him on the grass, get him on the grass. I thought, dude, it looked way bigger in the water. Oh shit. Here. Dude, god damn it. All right, guys, it's not as big as I said it was, but like half of it was in the weeds and it looked just massive. It looked massive in the water. But look at this. Nice bowfin. This is a female. We are like two for four right now. This is my second bowfin of the night. The first female. And it's a nice one. I thought it was so big though. Like the way it was just like sticking out of the weeds. It seriously looked over 10 pounds. Just like the way it was in the water like magnified it. But I'll still take this as a good one. I'm going to snap a pick and move on with the night. Cool. Alright guys, I'm going to guess this one's I'm gonna say six and a half to six and three quarters now that I'm holding it. Guessing 6.76. No, six pounds, 14 ounces. Oh, okay. Almost a seven pound bowfin. I'm gonna get a quick pick, get this guy back in. And off she goes. And nice. it's off right away, guys. What an insane sequence. Well, guys, there was the release. My second bowfin of the night, my first female. Feels good. My heart was pounding there. Guys, it looked, I'm telling you, I probably should have filmed it in the water, but I was just too excited. It looked double that size in the water. It's like the magnify or like the water magnified it. And like only it's like half of the body was like sticking out of the weeds. I thought that was over 10 for sure, but biggest of the night, second of the night. All right, guys, that is going to be it for tonight's video. I wanted to make this a two day video only because I didn't want that big bowfin that we caught to go to waste. And it was my PB and also the first in the nitro. So I figured why not come out here, target these bowfin. I haven't done this this year yet as in like this night fish harbor thing. We did pretty well tonight. We had a lot more opportunities that we should have capitalized on, but that's what happens with the bowfin. You hook a lot more than you're going to catch. But tonight was really fun. Unfortunately, Trevor could not get one, but that's the way it goes sometimes. You just come out here, you get your opportunities and you might only get one to two opportunities and you got to make them count. So not a bad night. Honestly, I had fun out here. I wanted to finish this with a bang. We're going to be going to Florida in literally not even 48 hours. So it is time to go home. I have to actually start editing this video tonight and then I have all day tomorrow to edit three Texas videos, which is going to take a shit ton of time. So I am fully prepared because I literally go to, I literally go to Florida with Meg from May 12th to May 18th. I have just the 19th to kind of get back, get everything ready. And then on the 20th, I shoot up north to Minocqua to film the northern videos for this big old smallmouth for four weeks straight. I'm literally gonna be up there from May 20th all the way until June 20th or something, something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode slash tonight. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are not subscribed and honestly it would mean the world to me. Drop a comment on this video. It helps me keep creating content, guys. 
We are the only channel right now doing it this big, the smallest channel, doing these full sends to Florida, Texas, all over the place. And it's honestly because of you guys. So I appreciate the support. If you guys want to cop any merch, followtheaction.com slash McGrath Fishing, you guys can check everything out. I'll pop up a little bit right here, but that's it. Two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at five o'clock PM, and we are out. Early mornings, late night cruising, up and down the crystal cove and through the uneasy stream. Bass fishing, Corona drinking, we're just out here catching the American dream. Lay back, relax, McGrath fishing is all you need.